Hello everybody! I have another story for you today. This one is Snow Puppy by Marcus Pfister. Isn't he cute? <laughs> he reminds me of my friend's dog. I have a friend named Noah and he's got a puppy named Bandit. Um, he's a little white puppy with black ears and little black eyes around his or black smudges around his eyes and a couple black spots on his back. Really cute. Very fuzzy. And I was there the day he first saw snow. And I think that's what we're going to learn about here with this puppy. <laughs> you can see him shaking the snow off. Rascal was bored. Sophie had gone into the city to shop with her parents, but Rascal had to stay home. All by himself. It was just a just plain mean. Rascal plopped his chin on his paws. Then Rascal noticed something unusual outside the window. What was wrong with the sky? He jumped onto Dad's favorite chair and stood on his hind legs. White specks were floating down from the sky. They looked just like those funny soft things that had swirled up out of the pillow one time. Rascal had been playing with the pillow and torn it open. And Sophie had chased after him. And Mom had chased after Sophie. It had been a lot of fun. Excuse me. Rascal jumped off the chair and sped to the door. He had to jump up to the doorknob three times, but at last the door opened. There was already a thick blanket of snow on the ground. Rascal raced around in it excitedly. The game with the snowflakes was as much fun as the game with the torn pillow, but the flakes were ice cold, and when they landed on his nose, they disappeared without a trace. Look how happy he is to be in the snow. My friend's dog, Bandit, is like that too. He gets real excited to be outside, especially when it's snowing. Something was moving near the fence. It was small and brown, and now it was hopping across the field. Rascal needed to get a closer look. Barking happily, he leaped to the fence squeezed through, and ran toward the woods. Oh, he saw a bunny rabbit. A new game! Rascal chased after the rabbit, farther and farther away from home. Suddenly, the rabbit disappeared. It seemed as if it had been swallowed up by the ground. No matter how hard he tried, Rascal couldn't find it. He didn't give up, though. After all, he had a good nose. He sniffed and he sniffed until finally his nose led him to a mysterious hole. The rabbit must be hiding inside. <coughs> Excuse me. Rascal pushed his nose into the hole, deeper and deeper, until his head got stuck. He kicked his legs to try to free himself. The rabbit backed into the farthest corner of the hole. It looked terrified. Rascal barked, but the more he tried to reassure the rabbit with his friendly barks, the more frightened the rabbit got. Finally, Rascal got his head free. He shook the dirt and snow from his fur. He wasn't so thrilled with the snow now. He was soaking wet and freezing cold, and he was hungry. He couldn't stop thinking about his food dish at home. But where was home? Rascal had no idea. Poor Rascal, he's lost. What do you think is going to happen? There was a delicious smell in the air. It smelled just like bologna. Rascal followed the scent to a clearing. There, he found a man sitting on a log, eating a bologna sandwich. Rascal cautiously approached. 
Come here, little dog. Don't be afraid, said the man in a deep, friendly voice. You look hungry. He tossed a piece of bologna to a rascal, who swallowed it in one bite. <coughs> Come here, said the man again. A person with a bloody sandwich couldn't be all that bad. Rascal jumped onto the man's lap and curled up under his coat. Poor thing, said the man. You're shivering from the cold. He gave Rascal a bite of his sandwich. Warm up, then we'll go to town to sell my Christmas trees. It'll be nice to have a little help this year. The man wrapped Rascal in a blanket and set the pup beside him. Wow, Rascal had never been on a horse-drawn sleigh. The mighty horse stomped the ground impatiently. Giddy up, Martha. And they were off. Martha snorted in the cold winter air, and the heavy sleigh slid through the white countryside. The clanging of Martha's bells and the rocking of the sleigh lulled Rascal softly to sleep. We're there, my little friend, said the man, waking Rascal from his sleep. The man unloaded the pine trees from his sleigh. Thousands of Christmas lights lit up the square. The marketplace hustled and bustled with shoppers. Rascal watched slyly from his cozy blanket. He missed Sophie and his nice warm house. Suddenly, Rascal heard a familiar voice. Daddy, look! This little tree is beautiful! Rascal leaped up from the sleigh, barking, and sprang into Sophie's arms. Rascal, what are you doing here? said Sophie. The man explained how he had found Rascal in the woods. We can't thank you enough, said Mom. It would have been a sad Christmas without Rascal. Then Mom invited the man to come for Christmas dinner. That's very kind of you, said the man, but I couldn't possibly accept. At that, Rascal snatched the corner of the man's coat and pulled with all his might. Well, I guess I have no choice, said the man, laughing. Rascal wagged his tail in agreement, and the whole family looked forward to a very special Christmas. The end. So he found his way back to his people. That was pretty nice. He gets to go home and have Christmas dinner. I like that story. And Rascal reminds me a lot of my friend's dog, Bandit. So I hope you enjoyed that one. <coughs> and I hope you have a happy holiday, whichever holiday you celebrate. And I guess we will see you in the next one. I've got a couple more stories coming up. Um, I hope you enjoy them. Bye-bye. <laughs>